Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the lead code question 100. Same tree. Basically, given two binary trees, we need to say if they are the same or not. And two binary trees are considered the same if they are structurally identical and the nodes have the same value. Here are some examples, guys. Um, yeah, let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to solve this question recursively. And the good thing is that we will not even to declare a helper method to do it. So we can do everything within is same tree method, uh, which uh, expects two input parameters, the tree node P and tree node Q. So two binary trees. And when you're solving the question recursively, the first thing with which you should start is to think about the base case. And in our case, the base case would be to check if tree node P and tree node Q are both equal to null. Because if they're both equal to null, it means that they're the same binary trees because null is equal to null. And if that's the case, we can just return true. Simply as that, guys. So this is our base case. Now let's do another else if. So when two binary trees are not the same, um, for example, if one tree is equal to null, but another one is actually not equal to null, it means that they cannot be the same. And if that's the case, we can just simply return false. Makes sense, right? Yeah, because we just checked if P is now and Q is now, because this is our first check. Um, we can just, you know, check this condition by applying or, because we know that we already checked if both of them are now. So if we check if P is equal to now or Q is equal to now, it means that like if any of them is now, but another one is not now, we can just return false. So yes, guys. And another one, um, so because we already have these two checks, we, if we didn't return anything uh, by this moment, when we came to this line, it means that like, okay, both values are, both three nodes are definitely not equal to now. So there's some values inside these three nodes. And we can just check if these values are the same or not because if these values uh, are not the same it means that we can just stop and say that the three nodes are not equal and just simply return false so if p dot value is not equal to q dot value return false okay dokie okay, guys so we did these three checks uh, which means that we checked like the current values. So we checked the current root of both three nodes. And if we basically reached this line of code, it means that, okay, both three nodes have some values and these values are still the same. So now we want to do a recursive call and just to go to the left and right sub subtrees of both P and, and Q to check the rest of the values, to basically traverse through the binary trees. And yeah, we just can call is same tree method. First of all, on p.left and q.left. So we're going to the left subtrees of both p and q. And we can also have the end condition to do the same for the right subtree. P dot right, Q dot right. And yeah, if for these two recursive calls, in the end, both of them will terminate recursively with this if condition and they will return true, it means that yes, the trees are the same and you know, we traverse through the whole P and Q trees and we and all the values within these two binary trees being the same, 
we will just return true. If not, we will return false. Simply as that, guys. Simply as that. Okay, let me run the code to see if it works. And it does. Let's submit now. Yes, guys, perfect. That's it. It was the little question 100. Same tree. Very simple, but quite interesting problem. Please make sure you to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, challenge them to see if they can solve this problem or not. And guys, I will see you in the next video. And remember, lead call today keeps unemployment away. See you guys.